I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. Though we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. Hal, you remember my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, lad. My daughter Delilah asked after you. Perhaps I should bring her next time. Good. She goes on about your prowess as a warrior. I think you have an admirer, young man. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. Now that's what I'd like to hear. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away, yes? There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Kuzland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. They are the heroes of legend, who ended the Blights and saved us all. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow Wardens in the South. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. You did just finish saying that Grey Wardens are heroes, old friend. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? In the meantime, find Fergus and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Upstairs in his chambers, no doubt, spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. Good evening, my lord. There you are. Your mother told me the Terran had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Pardon my manners, my lord. It's simply that I've been looking all over the castle for you. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. Your mother disagrees. She insists you collect the dog, and quickly. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. I'm not willing to test that. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? Just follow the yelling. When Nan's unhappy, she makes sure everyone knows it. Magic exists to serve man, and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinta Imperium ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the dream realm, the Fade, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fade, and there you will face a demon, armed with only your will. It will turn you into an abomination, and the Templars will be forced to slay you. This is Lyrium, the very essence of magic, and your gateway into the Fade. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. As we succeeded, so shall you. 
Keep your wits about you, and remember the Fade is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is real. The Apprentice must go through this test alone, First Enchanter. You are ready. You might not want to go in. Tavern's full, and those soldiers are being a nuisance. Same reason the Chantry's full, packed with people who fled their homes. The tavern keeper's letting folks sleep on the floors, but he can only fit so many. And those soldiers are getting restless. They're not here to defend us. They were looking for someone before they started drinking. I hear they almost killed a man because they didn't like his face. I wonder if they're deserters from the King's army. Is there any reason to be happy? With the King dead, them Darkspawn will overrun Lothering before anyone can organise. You'd think those soldiers could at least run off the bandits. I hear someone gave them what they deserved. It wasn't you, was it? It was? Hey, everyone! This is the one who drove out those thieving bastards! More will probably come, but it's good to know some justice is left here. Thank you. And Eileen spoke unto the masses, My hearth is yours, my bread is yours, my life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. <laughs> Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. He can't answer you. He's chanted Devons. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry, my friend? You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. I am the revered mother of this Chantry. Traditionally, those who seek my blessing tithe first. Might I suggest 30 silver? I understand. Not all are wealthy enough to spare even a few coins for the Maker's favor. What can I do for you, then? Farewell to you, then, my son. Make them pay for every inch, men! Hold the flank! Avernus, we need you! Nelatep obrasuth sithan net bekon. Andraste's blood! What? More Avernus! Whatever it takes! Kaili a benfotos. Victos! Press them! Press them now! No! I command you, fight the king's men! Fool! So much death, suffering, and oh yes, blood! The veil is torn now. Your soul is mine, Avernus! Acolytes, retreat now! The battle is lost! Avernus! Step no further, Warden. This one would speak with you. Because this peak is mine. This one is the Dryden, Commander, Sophia. <laughs> All these things. Grandmother? You have slain many of the demon ilk to get here. This one would propose a deal. That or she's really let herself go. My great-great-grandmother is dead. I don't know what that is. Fool! Shall be done. Let us do it quickly! 